Meet Red Wine and Blue, a group mobilizing suburban women to combat conservative-backed protests over mask mandates and diversity curriculum. School board meetings had become ground zero for battles over school mask mandates, book banning, lesson plans that focus on race, gender, and sexuality. They've devolved into shouting matches and divided communities. On one side, right-wing parents who are highly organized and ready for a fight. On the other, liberal parents who are starting to push back. One group is trying to harness the power of suburban moms to fight against the Republican effort to target school curriculums. It's called Red Wine and Blue, and as you can see from their website, you don't have to be politically inclined to get involved. The woman who founded the site, Katie Paris, talked to the Washington Post about the conservative parents at these meetings, saying, quote, I don't think they represent any kind of majority, but they certainly are part of what I would say is a pretty massive orchestrated effort to undermine public education and teachers in the country, impose a political agenda, and win back suburban voters. Katy Perry. Katy Paris. <laughs> Katy Perry. <laughs> Maybe I've got some <laughs> performances on my mind. Katy Paris joins us right now. Katy, good morning, and thanks for being with us. I want to talk to you here about what concerns you most about this trend that we're seeing in our nation's schools. You know, thank you so much for having me on. It's just, we feel it's time for mainstream moms, mainstream parents and all this to have a voice on behalf of our kids. It is concerning to have these culture war issues come in and divide our communities, take over these school board meetings, and it all has an impact on our kids. Ultimately, we are in this to protect our kids' education. We don't want the history that they're taught to be whitewashed. We want all kids to feel welcomed at school so they can learn and thrive. We want our kids to respect each other across their differences. And when you have these culture wars come in orchestrated by right-wing think tanks out of D.C. and a handful of parents, you know, loudly coming and taking over these school board meetings, we want to make sure that there's a voice for the rest of us. Yeah, I mean, you say some of them are coming in practically reading from a script. So how do you fight this? You're gathering suburban moms. You're trying to mobilize everybody. What do you do? Where do you start? Well, at Red, White, and Blue, we engage women by helping them organize in their communities. And we do it in a way that's really engaging and, and actually fun. A lot of the women who engage with us haven't gotten involved in maybe anything political before. And so we want to make it really approachable. We want them to feel supported by each other and create a sense of community. So when all of this started happening, I mean, our networks were just lighting up with this. We were hearing, is this going on at your school board meeting? Is this going on in your school board meeting? It's suburbs all across the country. So we knew something was going on. We knew it was orchestrated. We wanted to provide that support. So every week we have opportunities for women in our network, and it's growing by the thousands every day now because um, there's so much frustration. That this has taken over our communities. And we equip these women to know what to expect at school board meetings because they don't want to go in there and just yell back. They want the pandemic is exhausting enough. Like, we don't want to show up at these school board meetings and just be yelling at the other side. But we do want to make sure that mainstream moms can have a voice and that we can stand up on behalf of our kids. So we talk about how can you show up in a way that you're proud of? What do you need to be prepared for that you're going to hear at those meetings? And it, it makes them feel supported, equipped. They're ready. To, they come up with creative ideas to maybe grab attention in the community, again, in a way that they can feel proud of and isn't just yelling back. You know, in, in this article, one of your newer members says, I get frustrated with the Democrats' lack of movement and, and basically says that Republicans, they have a playbook, they have an engine that's always moving, and the Democrats don't. Do you agree with that? And what do you want to see lawmakers do? You know, I think that there has been so much focus in D.C. on what's going on in D.C., there have been really important legislative battles. I mean, I really want to see voting rights passed. I really want to see things like more support for child care and paid family leave happen. But, you know, no one's really talking about Joe Manchin at the bus stop. They're talking about the schools. So in order to get those things done that our democracy needs so much, we have to meet women where they are. We have to engage in these conversations. And we have to see that, yes, the right wing has successfully exploited what is a lot of parent exhaustion and frustration to fear longer over culture war issues, divide and distract us from addressing these really big problems that we need to and that the pandemic has exposed at all the disparities in our communities. 
um, that the pan pandemic has made worse. But they don't want paid family leave. They don't want more support for child care. So they are dividing us. Now, what I want is for politicians in D.C. to see what's going on, to meet us where we are in our communities, see the stress and anxiety that this is causing, that, that they are exploiting in our communities at the school level, help us have our voice, stand up. We have thousands, hundreds of thousands of suburban women who are ready to engage and stand up for themselves and their kids and their communities. So help them, support them, give them a voice so that we can get these culture war issues out of the way and back to supporting families and the things that we really need. Katie Paris, it has been a pleasure to have you on. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.